Fi 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 finally, your television is everywhere and anywhere. Laptop, desktop, and your phones. Nokia, Blackberry, Android, iPad, iPod, e e even your Tino phone. Channel 54 brings television close to you. Everywhere, anywhere. Check us out now at www.channel54.tv. My name is Uji and today I'm going to be taking you through a wide variety of flavors that take you to a culinary journey, something that you've never experienced. We're bringing home the African touch to you, we're making meals that you can do within a few minutes, quick, good home meals. Keep watching and enjoy this. Chicken and chip is one of the most, how would I put it, it's, it's a meal that you can pick up anywhere. Uh, I kind of find it boring with the regular stuff you have. So today we're doing a slight remake of your normal chicken and chips. We're going to be using smoked chicken and we're going to be uh, pan grilling it and doing all sorts of nice things to it. So let's see how that goes. Basically for this, what we're making today, we'll need some potatoes, a bit of uh, tatashi, that's what it's called around this part, some onions, uh, spring onions, nice lovely green chilies, and of course smoked chicken. Uh, you can buy this at any store, I usually like to buy it from a store nearby. It's, uh, it is a nice beautiful bird, it's been beautifully smoked, uh, all the juices are still intact. So we're going to chop in this baby up and uh, we're going to be making something nice with her. Okay, so uh, what you're going to need for this, you're going to need uh, a very hot pan, which is very key in whatever you're doing. Uh, I always say before you start cooking, you need to turn on your pan, turn on your fire, let it get very hot. So it doesn't, uh, it remains moist and it doesn't dry out. It's so you that that's able to put a little bit of salt in it while it's soaking. Oh, it's a little bit of sprinkle, dab it in there. As you can see, it's my crinkle knife that gives it the serrated look. I kind of think it's cool though. But if you don't have a crinkle cutter, you could as well cut uh, with a normal knife. But try as much as possible to get out interesting shapes. You could you could you do dice for your end. All right, now we're done with that. What you need to do is to strain the water out of the chips. Here we go. Now. A little bit of test for your pan. If you can bring it this close, that means it's not hot enough. The further away, bring that means it's good to go. Scroll that for a little bit. Now, the reason I'm using a, a flat prep pan to pan grill the potatoes is I don't want to damage the crinkle edges. So you want to lay it out flat and let it cook very slowly. 
A lot of people believe the only way they can eat uh, potatoes is to deep fry them. Uh, that's a lot of oil if you ask me, a lot of calories. So, a nice non stick crepe pan like this, uh, heavy bottom, salt you out any day. I like to use sprinkle cutters because it, it, it adds to the texture. It gives whatever you've, you've cut with it a better cooking surface area. And at the end, the, the, in terms of appearance, it, it has a much, much more uh, better look and feel and finish. Now for my chicken. I'm going to be taking uh, the juiciest parts of it, the thighs. Oh. It's even nicely smoked. So tender. So slowly, you don't want to totally debone it, you just want to take out the connecting bone to the tie. You really don't need to season this because all, all the smokiness and all the flavor already sits in it. It's already, it's, it, I mean, this is done with some salt, a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of pepper. So you actually have everything you need. So I think, in terms of salt, you'll be fine. You just the bone it, you set it aside for some time and it's almost ready to cook. Set that aside. You wash my hands. Okay, now to check our pan. Now for this we're gonna place now this other pan is nice and hot. We're gonna toss in our onion and same amount of Okay, 
now we'll start to season the chicken. We're going to put a bit of chives, dried chives, not a lot just to fit. Chives is like a, like a spring onion, let's say. You can buy it the dry ones anywhere in the market. At this point in time, this is good to go into strain all the excess stuff from it. Set this aside. Then you core the potatoes to yourself. Sweep this off. I'll spin my potatoes around. I'll put it up between spread. Cooking of that little bit, a little bit of uh, cooking spread. Yes. Okay, I think we are good. For me, African food without the Trinity is lost, which is the pepper, the onions, the chili, the garlic, you know, all that. I, I think uh, this, for African food for me, is this is what it should be. Nice, spicy, hot, and uh, great to eat. So just add the side uh, to... Now, for those of you that don't uh, have a griddle pan or a crinkle cutter, you can cook your chips anyway. Okay, now we need to do a bit of sprinkle, some cheese, a nice uh, mozzarella cheese, just for the Here's a bit of green and a bit of onion here. Then a bit of black pepper. Black pepper in, in Nigeria is not that very cool. It has many applications in Nigeria. Even the average Suyama along the road uses black pepper. We use it for pepper soup. We use it for a number of Nigerian dishes. So it is truly Nigerian. And that is our chicken and chips of the day. It's a beautiful meal you can have it for lunch, for dinner, for supper, or whatever it is. Make sure you cook it right and you cook it right.
And I'm Chef UJ, and don't forget to join me next time for something different, something special, something tasty. Finally, your television is everywhere and anywhere. Laptop, desktop, and your phones. Nokia, Blackberry, Android, iPad, iPod, even your time of phone. Channel 54 brings television close to you. Everywhere, anywhere. Check us out now at www.channel54.tv.